Clockwork Tangerine. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to Nudges in the Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got a brew dog beer today and it is called Clockwork Tangerine. There is the label, there is the spill on the back. Um, Clockwork Tangerine, I imagine they are trying to do a play on words with the book and the film Clockwork Orange. Um, they say it's a session IPA, uh, it is 4.5%. Session, mm, well, yeah, maybe. Um, depends how long the session is. <laughs> um, they're saying it's a fully, um, fully automated. What the fuck? A fully automated beer. They don't have to put some shit on the back of these beers, I'll tell you. A fully automated, um, sessionable IPA infused with t uh, tangerine. A perfectly timed delivery of juicy citrus and mellow tropical fruits, followed by a subtle, followed by subtle hints of caramel and toast, all wrapped up in a medium-bodied ale. Right, okay. Um, I'd question that being a session ale. Guinness is the same. Um, yeah, I, I drank Guinness all day and been very worse for wear at the end of it. Um, <laughs> I suppose any beer's sessionable. Depends how drunk you want to get. Do you know what I mean? So this whole session beer thing is uh, subjective to say the least. There is the cap. That is a usual brew dog cap. I don't know if you can see or not, but yeah, that's normally what you get on top of a brew dog bottle. What's inside here? And there is tangerine. That's the first thing that hits me. Sweet fruit. Little tiny bits of hops. But it's not it's not strong. It's not a strongly um, f aromaed beer. Let's get it in the glass. See what we're getting out there. So this is three thirty ml bottle. This is four point five percent. That is a massive head. The size of that. I've messed that right up. And there you go. There it is in the glass. It is a medium to dark amber colour. Um, not much carbonation in that. Can't see much in there at all. Three finger head, well, two and a half. Um, it's white, white head. Tangerines, straight first thing. So it's doing what it says. It talks Brew Dog. Everyone knows Brew Dog. Craft beer giants kickstarted the um, craft beer revolution in the United Kingdom. Dependent, you know. Regardless of what your views are on Brewdog, you've got to give them credit for that. They have spawned a hell of a lot and they've brought craft beer to the fore in the United Kingdom, so, yeah. Anyway. And that is not bad. And do you know what? Everything they say on the back is true. The first thing that hits you is that orangey, and it is a tangerine. You're starting to think orange, but it's it's not your normal orange. It's got a slight twist to the taste. But the malts they talk about, the toasty malts at the end, that's definitely there. You do get that on the arse end of it. And, um, and it's not bad. It's slot. Mm. It's weird. It comes in this order. You get the big tangerine and the fruit, the sweet fruit flavour. That goes down. 
then you get the the hoppy bitterness only for a short while and then the as they say the toasty malts and then bready malts they kick in and as I'm burping I'm getting warm tangerine coming up and I know a lot of these videos um, you know people burp and all that but you get a lot of flavours when when beer goes down down your throat and then it comes back up it's been sort of warmed up and you're getting it direct without the influence of any oxygen so you do get that flavour and as it comes through your nose you get the aroma as well um, yeah I know it's disgusting people burping but when you're tasting beer it's part and parcel so you know I wouldn't be too put out by people burping when they've had beer I mean I defy anyone to say they don't drink beer and burp but there you go that would be due to the carbonation speaking of which on this you can't notice it at all it is so smooth this is a really nice drinkable beer it's really nice I can see why they say it's a session IPA 4.5 you might be pushing it saying it's sessionable because I think anything over 4.2 it depends on people's tolerances for alcohol because that's what session is when they say session beer it means you're going out and you're going to have a session and that's not just a, a drink for an hour you're talking like three or four hours anything up to eight hours plus <laughs> I've done 24 hour benders before and believe me drinking stuff like Stella so you know what's sessionable is very subjective to certain people it's, it's how you end up afterwards that's what I think anyway but getting back to this beer I like this a lot it's very nice very drinkable very fruity you, you can get that fruitiness it's like it's like all the flavors have queued up you get the big fruity orangey tangerine flavor then the hops so my turn now then afterwards on the arse end of it as it goes down the malts are saying yep yeah, we're here too that toasty bready malt and all together it makes a great combination and i really like that and i think brewdog have got that one spot on that is really nice i would give that i'd give that an eight out of ten it's really good really nice really drinkable um as i say i'm not much of a foodie i don't normally drink beer and eat and vice versa but if you was eating something as it's quite sweet you know this would go down well with you know what's that nachos is it i don't know don't ask me about food when it comes to beer i'll tell you about beer and that's it but yeah it's lovely it's really nice i recommend that it gets it, this is widely available you can get this in the supermarket i got that in morrison's and i think it was one pound 89 for a bottle and um i'd recommend it it's really good really nice it's better than their other session ipa they do a green one i can't remember the name of it this is nicer it's not as nice as the elvis juice that's got far more flavor in it i think but this is not bad so yeah recommend it eight out of ten well done brew dog love a winner there mate he's on a fucking mini bike a mini bike the wheels a grown man on a mini bike jesus christ there's some strange characters around here it's like shameless and remember Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. <laughs>